my mother's people have been here. We go back to uh, the southern states, Arkansas, um, Georgia, Louisiana, Alabama. So if we could, we wanted to know our heritage. How far back can we go to get to our African roots? This is Annie B. Jackson's husband. This is Grandma's dad, Curtis Jackson. This is Annie B. Adams' brother. Now, his father was a Sanders. Uncle Henry McKinney. It was a, a Mother's Day gift for my mother, and we wanted to surprise her, but we wanted to get something that we knew she wanted. When she was talking about getting the DNA, I said to myself, I said, uh oh, he's going to come out now. We are not for show, you know, so. I thought it would be fun. I thought it was a gift. It would be a nice gift. So this is my mother's ancestry composition, basically breaking down um, what she has in her by ethnicity. My results show that I had a DNA relative that was a third cousin. I did not know this last name whatsoever. And I thought, okay, this is on my mother's side. But when we did the, my mother DNA results showed up, she was not a match. Must be on my father's side. So when I put my father on there, it was no DNA with this cousin. He didn't match up with me. Saw so her as she was growing up, and she, you know, got much lighter. I started wondering. I talked to my mother. I said, uh, could it be someone else? And she gave me a name. And um, I got in touch with the DNA cousin. I said, I think I know how we are related. Whoa, you know, it was shocking. Um, it was something that we really were like, this is something we had believed for years and years, and we didn't even know that there was a possibility that he wasn't the father. Al was the only grandfather that I knew at the time. So when I found out that wasn't our grandfather, you know, feel kind of weird, but you know, at the end of the day, I think that's, I still call him grandpa. Hello? Yes. Mom? Yes. Hey, Mom said, how was your dad? Mom seen you grow up. Mom told you she's seen the changes in you. She said, you begin to look like him. I don't look at that as betrayal. I look at it as when we are young, we make mistakes. And Texas? My daughter and I looked online, and I didn't have a number. So I, I, we typed up a letter, and I mailed the letter off. Did the DNA test, sent it off. Three weeks later, the results came in and he was indeed my biological dad. Yeah, I wasn't surprised myself, you know. You weren't surprised when the DNA no, came out? No, I wasn't surprised. You weren't surprised when you found out Al ever wasn't my dad? No. I called him to let him know that you, you, I'm your daughter. I'm your daughter, you, you're my dad. Um, there was quiet for a little second there, and then he said, you have a nice day. Okay, you have a nice day. I just felt just like this huge feeling of rejection, and I, um, I, med I immediately fought it because I was like, no, I, I can't carry this. I don't regret it. I had to know. And I, I still have hope. So that's, that's a lot of satisfaction, just knowing where I came from and who I came from and wanting to know our history is very important.